since Sunday, I haven't been doing all too well. I almost feel embarrassed. I almost feel ashamed. Because I'm like, you should be over this stuff. This is not even something that happened to someone in your family. It's not that deep is what I tell myself. But how I feel, I know it is. I've never mourned someone I've never met. So I ask myself, why? Why this particular person? You know, why? Why am I feeling any type of way at all? Uh, and uh, for me, this is especially personal, which is strange to say because I don't know the man. It's personal because I see what happened and I know what it's like to lose someone suddenly. And then I see the reaction of everyone else around. And I think internally I'm just, I'm having flashbacks to the loss of someone dear to myself, right? So my father passed away when I was 21 and uh, very sudden. And you know, the, the weird thing about when you lose a parent um, or, or someone you're really close to, for me especially, it was like, you know, people are like, oh yeah, with time, everything... You know, eight years have gone by and it hasn't gotten better at all. There's like, a, there's a gap. And people say time heal all wounds. Maybe, maybe it's going to take 30 years for me. I don't know. But for me, that shit feels very fresh and tender and it, and it doesn't go anywhere, right? And so I guess when I'm seeing Kobe, like you, you can't escape it. You know, I, I want to, I, I want to turn off social media. I'll go on YouTube to do my work and everywhere I look, it's just tributes and it's people crying and it's people going crazy over it. And it makes me realize how many people he's touched. And then I'm just constantly seeing my own experience. And then I'm having to face, you know, all those lessons I learned then about like valuing the people close to you. And, and, uh, the reality is that a lot of us never heal the, the, the trauma that comes from losing a loved one. I mean, we move on, you know, human trait is to persevere, it's to keep going, but we don't deal with it. And I haven't dealt with it. I don't know how to, you know, it's one of those things that's just like an Achilles heel for me. You know, that's why I don't like talking about it with people generally. But I also know if you don't talk, nothing happens, right? Uh, and then you compound that with... You know, like I said in the last video, but I said like, you know, Kobe for me personally w was sort of a mentor because I think we all want some kind of father figure to tell us to persevere, to give us the life, le life lessons we need to, to kind of get out of those tough spots. And, and he represented the ultimate form of that. And I had that when I would listen to his stuff and it helped me through a lot of difficult times. And, and I guess I don't consider him a father figure. That's ridiculous. But um, I guess him dying was a reminder of the lack of mentorship I had growing up. And I, I felt crazy thinking this stuff. I felt fucking crazy. I'm like, Ab, you're being... And then I see all these grown men that I respect and they're crying and people are talking about, I want to get to know my father now. And I'm just like, what are we all, con what are we all as m men living right now? And I think it's, it's the loss of a mentor, of a father figure, of a, of a big brother. It's like you, a lot of people are feeling like they've lost a sibling or loved one or other people are reliving that pain vicariously through that experience of seeing what happened to him. And, uh, I think as men, we're just having a, a, a huge conversation. I think the only thing I'm really grateful, I think, is, is, is that this is a chance for a lot of people to self-reflect on the value of our loved ones, on the importance of, of cherishing them. Also to understand what it is that we're missing that's making us whole or that's not making us whole and, 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 and discussing that. I, I am keenly aware that I have to deal with this problem. And it's not something I've wanted to divulge to the subscribers, obviously, because I want to deal with this personally. But I think this whole conversation is happening on a national platform. So I, I wanted to you know, bring you guys in on that discussion as well. So um, I just want to let you guys know if you guys are suffering through this or if this is making you feel any type of way or if you are still living the pain of like a lost loved one, just know you're not alone. 
and if it's something that you've had to deal with in silence for a lot time, long time, trust me, you are not alone. Um, and so, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to share that with you guys.